It's a bit cold, isn't it? Lots of us woke up to snow up and down the country, with the weather causing havoc for travellers. The AA has described the situation as a nightmare. Wow, wow. look at that. Oh! Glad I'm not on that <gasps> one. Watch it, wow. guys, watch it. Oh, dear. It's like a routine oh, on Dancing on Ice with a boss. <laughs> 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 wow, that's incredible. Actually, it's better on the house than I was. Anyway, <laughs> airports have been cancelling their flights and EasyJet have said they're doing all they can to ease the situation. Well, a wonderful start to our Monday, then. <laughs> so, are we just a bit rubbish, Brenda? Yes. Dealing with the weather in this country. <laughs> Simply. No, don't mean us, I mean dealing yeah, with the weather. Yeah, I mean, come winter, rain, shine, it really doesn't matter. Just cos there's some snow outside, it doesn't matter what the weather is, we... As, even as I say, especially central London, because mm. I know up north it's it's slightly different. But central London, everything seems to fall apart or go to a standstill, and you nobody can't get in, nobody can't get home. It's just yeah. a bit ridiculous. You got the when it's snowing, everything is total gridlock. You know that <laughs> that thing, it's yep. total gridlock. And then when you got when you got some rain, you got floods. You feel like you're gonna try and get out the boat from nowhere and go <laughs> thinging, thinging, thinging. And then the heat, all the roads crack up, so you can't. It's, it's just a bit much. I pay a lot of money, as does everybody else, for your taxes, community tax, road tax, community tax, council tax. And where's that money going? You're not mm. repairing anything. It doesn't seem to be getting any better. <laughs> well, the weather has gone haywire because yesterday I was in Norfolk. There were blue skies, no snow, and I went walking. It was minus five degrees, and that's me on a walk yesterday where everything has frozen. But interestingly, it's easier to walk in that situation mm. than it was to walk from my house out the front door this morning. But when I got to London last night and the snow started, the heat loss from my back door was so much that I took a tip. I've, I'd read it somewhere, uh, when the weather's this cold, seal up everything with plastic. <laughs> so I went and got a, a load of bubble wrap and bubble wrapped my hall door. Uh, this is... Have we got a picture? Yeah, that's Janet's home improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Great it's very idea. impressive for you, Janet. Yeah, it's I really felt, good. I felt it's a great idea. Yeah, black parcel tape does the trick. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I better get a curtain to hang over the top of it and disguise the thing. But it's true, Brenda's quite right. No one can cope with any kind of weather in this country. We're just not able to. And I've travelled a lot in Sweden and Norway and Denmark, and they just are. If it's oh, cold, mm. they I went can to cope. I went to Lapland with Kira when she was little, and we were coming back, and it, I, I mean, there's snow up here, you know. It's just snow everywhere. We waited four hours at the airport in Lapland because it had snowed in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we well, laugh. I've it's got to rude. say, I did laugh because it was embarrassing. Well, Liverpool, honest, Liverpool seems to have a really good hands on it. So I live in Liverpool, mm. and the spreaders were out before I'd even woken up. So literally, the roads. All clear. The only places that there was snow was on the sidewalks. Like the little posties have got little sleighs that they move. I was like, oh, this is brilliant. Mm. So there was no stopping. Oh, Everyone was really organised. Fail to prepare, so... prepare to fail. <laughs> That's what yeah. I say. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, we're good up north. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with anything.